Hey there, Adrienne Elise here. Welcome to the Gaia Daily for July 15th through 17th, 2020. How are you doing? Well, now we have Mercury direct heading us into a new chapter, a new energy. It's been a very powerful and potent time with the sun in trying to Neptune and asking us to dream and come into connection with a bigger possibility of who we are. Now, the sun is exactly opposite of Jupiter today and exactly opposite of Pluto tomorrow. So the sun in Cancer, Mercury direct in Cancer, coming up on the second new moon in Cancer, this new moon that is happening uh, on Monday is at the very end degrees of Cancer. And so that's our second new moon in Cancer. And the last one was that very powerful eclipse speaking to timeline alignments and new possibilities and setting our vibration to a whole new place. So here we are, the story continues. And so the sun in Cancer and opposite of Jupiter and Pluto. Jupiter and Pluto in Capricorn still just a degree apart. Jupiter will move to 21 degrees tomorrow um, or the next day. And so they are separating out, but for right now, still in a very close conjunction and the sun opposite of these planets saying, how do we break down the structures of our world and the structures of our reality in order to move to birth ourselves into the new and that's just it we have to allow ourselves to be birthed into the new we have to receive the new but this new moon in cancer coming up is exactly opposite of saturn bringing up the energies, uh, Saturn already gone into Aquarius, now retrograded back into Capricorn. How do we adjust and build, uh, complete the old way of building and learn to, you know, move into a new way of building the Aquarian age? And this has to do with cleaning up karma, cleaning up contracts, the very end degrees of Capricorn there, Saturn and its second pass over these end degrees of Capricorn. And we've had so much attention on the mother with all of this cancer energy and how do we receive and how do we come back into nurturing compassion. And indeed, that's what the sun and cancer and mercury retrograding cancer, an adjustment that needs to be made in our lives around nurturing. This is exactly what's the message that we've been feeling with this whole month, having Saturn in a in conjunct relationship to the North Node. Exactly. That means it's in a semi sextile to the south node. So one sign over and an in conjunct to the north node is this adjustment that needs to be made. So it's speaking to the release of these contracts, the release of these um, cords and energies and a uh, whole structural way of, of uh, building at Saturn at those end degrees of Capricorn. Saturn also represents the father. And so it's very interesting. We've had so much happening on this Cancer Capricorn axis the last year and a half of the nodes, North Node in Cancer, South Node in Capricorn. This is the message. This is what we need to get. And so much energy in Cancer, speaking of how do we receive the new. This brings up an interesting energy with Saturn opposing this new moon and bringing up an energy of the father. And maybe our relationship to the father is what keeps us from receiving from the mother, you know, because if you don't feel worthy, if you don't feel good enough, if you don't feel like you've performed up to your standards, then it's hard to receive uh, that care, isn't it? So this is programming deep in the consciousness of humanity, of this outside this delusion of separation, this God that exists outside of us, which is this punishing and rewarding figure, you know, something we need to prove, earn back, bring um, kind of prove we're worthy, right? This is old and deep programming, even though for our daily life, we don't, you know, we don't live by that. But deep in our subconscious, it's affecting us right now. 
And um, this is kind of where we are being asked the whole story, the whole planetary configuration put all together is like, drop the old stories, drop the old way of doing it, drop the old contracts, drop the, drop the old constructs of, you know, who you thought you were. And, and, and then in relationship to uh, the bigger, wider whole, just coming off of this very powerful sun trine Neptune. Now, the sun trine Neptune moving right into this opposition with Jupiter and Pluto is bringing up an energy that we're going to be feeling. Um, we've we're already feeling, um, but it will intensify more here at the last week of this month. Jupiter in sextile to Neptune. So Jupiter in Capricorn going back to 20 degrees, sextiling Neptune in Pisces, a really sweet energy of creative solutions, you know. And Jupiter is saying, bring in the light to show the broken and the and what needs to be dismantled so that we can dream a new dream and come into a new relationship to our spiritual self so that speaks right back to that saturn energy and so this is on the table right now so the sun opposite of jupiter and pluto how do we break down these constructs of our reality how do we break down the faults the old, the lies, and this is everything to do with the exact conjunction today with Mars and Chiron, a culmination energy of these last three months of retrograde, examining, rearranging, disorienting, reorienting, and now Mars coming up to Mars, the ruler of Aries, coming up to Chiron and Aries, Chiron having just turned retrograde at its end point of how far it gets into Aries and Mars right there. And Mar and it's saying, pick yourself up, get, get up, pull yourself up by your bootstraps. It's time to get on with this, the party right? And we've been so stuck in trauma and particularly this Venus retrograde really pulling us back into old energies of trauma and addiction and everything that holds us back in that lower self, just a huge bloom. And now Chiron and, you know, uh, Mars and Aries with Chiron, huge power of uh, a life force energy, a, um, a surge of fire, that can get us off of our butts. <laughs> and it's kind of this place that we're at where um, in Saturn, the last degrees of Capricorn in relationship to the nodes and coming up across this moon and all this cancer energy and the breaking free of the old, everything that's Everything that's you've been dealing with around these last few months of what's been coming up for you individually and in the world is a lie. That's kind of the message. And yet it's like these stories we've been playing out. And um, this incredible configuration of the planets is saying time to write a new story. You know, that old story is that container can no longer hold you. And Mars and Chiron is saying the surge of light force saying light beings awaken. Because when you get to this point where you realize that all you've gone through, which has been pretty much hell for these supernova souls on earth, oftentimes, and then this replaying all these old traumatic lifetimes replaying through this whole lifetime, because it's finally time to let go of them. But we have to go into them and to get lost in them and that's what this time has been about and then there's this place where you say oh all of that crazy stuff that was I delve drove into the darkest places of this human evolution and um you know barely survived and maybe didn't survive <laughs> and made it through somehow to be leaving, living and breathing here on the planet. But when you get to that place where the light comes in, the realization, the revelation, the like complete breakdown, you know, when you go to the darkest place and the ego breakdown and then you're like, oh, all of that that I've been so stuck in and so identified with and so living out in my reality, all of that was 
apply to get me here. You know, once you see around the corner of what you're really doing here and and what's really going on in your spiritual awakening, then you're not so angry and you're not so hurt and you're not so victimized. You know, because it's like, this is what's happening right now. Let's package it up. The Saturn at the end degrees Capricorn, Capricorn. Let's package it up. Let's just package all this stuff up. There's these stories, these chapters, these lifetimes, these things. And there's all these resentments. There's all this frustration at being treated so poorly, treated unfairly. I'm never able to win against these dark forces. And then the energy here right now is saying, yeah, stop trying to win here. Stop trying to win here. You're working from another place where God wins, creation wins, life force wins. And this is this energy of this Mars Chiron, like whoo, claim this back. This is more what's true, life force. And all of those stories were trying to keep you from your life force, from truly living, keep you in these death cycles. And now it's time to claim back that vitality, that life force that um, you made it through all of this. And then when you make it through, you know, the journey is long and arduous. And while you're doing it, you don't know if you're going to make it through. And maybe this is why these supernova souls have gone through such intense spiritual initiations in other lifetimes as a preparation for this. Never thought it would look like this, right? But this is the great initiation, and here we are. And so when you get to that point where you arrive and you're celebrating with your people the journey, you know, it doesn't look as bad as when you were on it. And, and it's kind of like, it's all worth it if you've made it to this place. And now that's where we're at. We're like, claim this place. Mars and Chiron, claim it. And, um, of course, the whole theme of getting out of the battle, getting out of the struggle, getting out of the trauma body, just stepping right out of that, you know, stuck souls on the battlefield, battle worn, battle torn in pieces. And it's like a great resurrection, you know, get, get off, get out of these stories. Maybe they, maybe this has been such this haunted time for us on the planet in these recent months, because it's time for these uh, stuck souls to resurrect out of the earth and move on, you know, setting free the earth from its chains of misery. And like, yep, mm -hmm, that happened. It all happened. And it, it happened. Why? Just, just to play out? Or did it happen to get us to a better place? And that's where you come in right now, supernova soul is to be at that better place. That's your job. It's not easy, you know, and this is what we've been, this whole time's been about this dance between around your permission, you know, to exit out of those old stories and everything right now is working for us in the astrology of this time. So very powerful couple of days here with Mars exact with Chiron in Aries and empowerment, but also, you know, when you have an opportunity like this, like Aries wants freedom, fights for freedom, fights for the rights, fights for, you know, that life force and the I am presence. But, you know, typically when you're at that place of breaking, things are going to come up, you know, to show you what you need to break. And so we've got that going on too. It's part of the direct motion. Venus now moving direct um, and uh, still feeling a little bit of that semi-sextile with Uranus about this reworking of our value system. That goes right back to this end degrees of Saturn, Saturn, Saturn end degrees of Capricorn. Um, maybe it's reevaluating this deep subconscious programming of this like part of you that runs in your head, this other self that says, oh no, you didn't do that right. You should have done that better. You probably could improve here. And why can't you just, you know, and, and that is this evidence of this, you know, that's what's trying to leave. But all of it is blooming, right? So everything we're trying to get rid of, of course, has to come to the surface for us to see. And with this forward motion, it's showing us the contracts that we um, are ready to break, you know. And um, what we're doing is claiming this 
like we talked about this new way, this new space. It's kind of like, to me, it's like, this is a constant moment to moment battle that we've been in, but it, but like, it's almost like once you get somewhere, you feel like you have to do a whole bunch to maintain it, but we're trying to cross over to this place where we can hold this new vibration. And, um, as far as all of these stories and the plays and the contracts that are coming up, it's like you have to be strong enough, willing enough, love yourself enough, move out of that duality, illusion of separation and care for yourself as creator itself, you know, not like, oh, am I good enough? It's like, no, 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 you are manifested God consciousness. How can you be good enough or not good enough? And then say, hey, you guys get off my cloud, right? Because there's so many forces just trying to keep us in this, you know, there's this play and the stories and this, you know, this surface energy going on of like, oh, you're, you're losing, you know, you're all alone. Nobody, you, you're, you're alone in this island. And, you know, the world is just turning into program sheeple and you lost and you might as well just, you know, give up on the planet now, you know, and it's like, they're actually, that's like this, this like surface energy, you know. And actually, there's a tidal wave of a love coming to the planet. And, and, and this is why you're here and everything you've gone through. So time to get on board, you know, surf the wave. And just be like, when you're tending to the energies of those around you that are not interested in this journey, then it's going to put drag on your ship, you know. And it's got to be like right now, it's just such a crucial and important time for the light worker soul, for the supernova soul to say, hey, get off my cloud, like, and establish yourself in this new vibration, in this bigger picture, in the tidal wave of love, not the symptomatic play of the control energies trying to get one last grasp of uh, negative creating. It's just not happening. So um, good work. And we've made it through. It's, you know, it's not like 2020 is going to get any less intense, but it is good to get through this retrograde. It's a very interesting that Mars and Chiron are together. And um, then Mars will be taking a retrograde in its home sign, flavoring the whole last part of, um, of, of this 2020 story. And so we'll be exploring what that means. This is a re- it's 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 basically seems to be about this masculine upgrade healing that knighted warrior um the enlightened warrior that is um bringing the 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 offense and the defense is presence and witnessing and and like in the presence and witnessing you're bringing the force of the creator to work its magic on whatever situation is coming. So a whole different way of creating, whole different way of fighting. Um, that's what this Mars retrograde is going to be about. And also claiming back that zest for that, for life, our permission to fully live here. You know, there's so many systems in place to make us not live right now. You know, like our food supply has been so attacked, our air, our, our, the chemtrails, like all this stuff that's gone into over, generations poisons and toxins and um our environment has just like vaccination everything so much and and you know what it's all for it's not just to poison us it's not just to make a whole bunch of money in the medical industry it's to keep us back from our spiritual awakening you know and then once you cross over and you break through and you establish yourself on that cloud those things can't affect you anymore and then you are a force you are the light wave of love you are that force of nature you are this i am going to be and establish and represent and demonstrate living life force presence god consciousness right here right now the new paradigm is alive in you so great work. It's just such an intense time. Let's stick with it. Stick together. Stay present with what's going on because, wow, we have arrived in 2020. And um, as soon as we're ready individually, we can, with a flick of a switch, move over into that new paradigm. And I'm so glad we're here doing it together.
So I look forward to seeing you soon on the next update. Until then, I'm Adrienne Elise. Namaste.